this is a Rode Pro 12 volt portable stove. It says it cooks or warms food up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It says 5.5 foot fused cord plugs into a 12 volt port. Insulated design cooks or warms food up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. One quart aluminum cooking capacity. Enjoy hot meals in your vehicle. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. Now I've always kind of wanted one of these. I remember seeing these at truck stops when I was on road trips and traveling and always thinking they were really cool. Whenever I go on a road trip with friends or family and we stop at a truck stop, I like to walk up and down all the aisles in the little shop and just see what they have. And I was always kind of uh, fascinated by all of the little appliances that they sold that you could hook up to your cigarette lighter in your vehicle and like cook food or make coffee um, or keep food cold. But I never really had a reason to buy one because I never took enough road trips to feel like it was really worth it. However, since I have this channel, I have realized that this would fit into the whole counter cooking methodology where I would be able to cook without a kitchen um, pretty much cook anywhere. I also recently had a viewer ask me about this product So I thought I would film an unboxing and then make some videos with it So this is the front of the box. This is the side of the box It says perfect for camping tailgating or wherever life takes you not just for warming up leftovers The portable stove is capable of cooking food up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit Then it goes through the features uh, it says it has a cold storage area, uses RPSC-90820 aluminum pans for easier cleanup, prepare a meal or use to keep pre-cooked food hot, unplug and take with you, stays warm for hours, the ultimate lunchbox. And whenever I've tried to describe this to anyone, that's how I've described it. I kept saying, well, it looks like an old fashioned lunchbox, but it's really like a mini oven. The wattage is 144 watts, uh, the fuse is 15 amps, cord length 5.5 feet, capacity 1 quart, current draw 12 amps. Box includes portable stove with 12 volt power cord and owner's guide. Here's the other side, but it looks like it's in French. So that's all the information on the outside of the packaging. One thing I wanted to mention is that when I picked this box up off of the shelf, I was actually surprised at how light it is. For some reason, I expected it to be heavier. The other thing that I wanna mention is that these are currently being sold on Amazon for around $45. And I just took a ride to the closest truck stop, which is probably around 20 or 25 minutes away from me. And it's a pilot, it's a really small pilot and I bought this for $24.99, so it's a lot cheaper at Pilot right now than it is on Amazon. The sign on the shelf said $5 off, so I think they normally sell it for $29.99, and with the $5 off, I got it for $24.99. So let's open it up. So here is the unit. Once again, it's super lightweight. I'm kind of still surprised at how light it is and um, seems really sturdy. I'm hoping there's documentation inside of this because there was nothing in the box. Okay. There is. So there is the owner's guide. Important safeguards do not use with an extension cord or outlet splitter. Plug stove directly into a vehicle, 12 volt outlet. Do not touch hot surfaces, use handle. To protect against electrical hazards, do not immerse cord, plug, or unit in water. Close supervision is necessary when used by or near children. Unplug unit when not in use. Safety tips use caution when moving the stove since hot food can leak even with the lid closed. Use the appliance with your engine on to avoid draining your battery. Do not use stove while vehicle is moving to avoid spills. Unplug unit when finished. Never touch cooking surface when unit is on. Unit is protected with an internal thermostat and fuse. 
before using. Before first time operation, wash inside unit with warm water and a mild soap to clean. Do not submerge unit in water. Operation, always place stove on smooth level surface. When cooking, make sure food is making contact with bottom surface to ensure even heating. Food can be wrapped in aluminum foil to keep stove clean or use Road Pro disposable aluminum loaf pans. To heat canned food, puncture a small hole in top to allow steam to escape. Unit will reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so be careful to be careful not to touch hot surface. Then it gives you some sample cooking times. Hot dogs, 5 minutes. Rice, 30 minutes. Soups, 20 minutes. Baby food, 5 minutes. Those cooking times actually seem pretty quick to me. I thought this would be much slower than that. Um, then it gives you information on cleaning it, troubleshooting, and then it repeats everything in French. So here's the bottom, and I'm assuming this is the heating unit, this metal part, and then the metal part on top heats up also. And the cord should be in here. So here's the cord. Sorry if the lighting is bad, that looks like the fuse. So the outer housing is all plastic, uh, which is why it's so light, and the inside is aluminum, so that's light also. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to wash out the inside, and then I'm going to test this out by making some fish. I am supposed to be cooking some fish for dinner today, and I'm going to attempt to cook it in this Road Pro stove, so uh, we'll see how it comes out. So here is some of the fish. This is one big filet that's been cut into two pieces and I am going to make this as plain as possible. So all I did was uh, take a little bit of coconut oil and grease this aluminum foil with it. And I'm gonna wrap this fish up in the aluminum foil. And this is what I'm cooking in the Road Pro stove. I folded it up like a little envelope. And I'm actually going to try to cook two of these at the same time. Here's the next fish fillet. This again was cut into two pieces and I'm making this one a little bit differently. Um, first of all, I did not grease the aluminum foil and secondly, I added some butter to the top of this fish and also some dried dill and some dried parsley. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up and cook this at the same time. So this is what the fish packets look like in this Rode Pro oven. I put them both in here. So let me go get my solar power station. I have a fully charged 500 watt portable power station and this is what I'll be plugging this Rode Pro oven into. Okay. When I first plugged this in, a red light went on down here um, it's no longer on and according to this power station it's pulling zero watts and the DC light is blinking. Okay so this Rode Pro stove will not run on either of these portable power stations that I have because both of these have 12 volt 8 amp DC outputs and the Rode Pro stove is 12 volt 12 amp so it it won't run on either of these and that's why it was shutting off. So that is good to know. I'm very new to solar power and I'm learning as I'm going along. So what this tells me is that when I buy my next portable power station, I wanna make sure that the 12 volt output can handle 12 amps. In the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is plug this in in my car. I have to take care of some yard work. We're having like a windstorm right now and everything is swept all over the place. So by the time I'm done with the yard work, uh, this should be done. Okay, this was cooking for 25 minutes in the car and when I went in the car to check on it, the car smelled really good. So let's open this up and let's see if the fish is done. Wow, I don't know if you saw that, but a whole bunch of steam just came out. Okay, let's see if I could just do this with my hands. So this is the fish that had the butter and the dill. Let's take a look at it. I actually don't think it's done. Is it done? Is it done? This part here, the thicker part, does not look like it's done. Yeah, this needs more cooking. The thinner part might be done. The thinner part's done. This part needs more cooking, so 
I'm going to seal this back up. Now it could be because this one was laid on top. This is the one that was on the bottom. Yeah, this one looks much more cooked. Yeah, this is nicely cooked. This is really nicely cooked. Yeah, this worked great. So this fish is really nicely cooked and it was 25 minutes in the Road Pro and some foil. And this is fresh caught fish. So a friend of the family likes to go fishing, but he does not like eating fish. So he cleans it and fillets it and then gives it to my family. And then we split it up amongst ourselves. So unfortunately, I don't know what kind of fish this is, but that one is done. I'm gonna go put this back in the car and cook for like another 10 minutes. Okay, I had this cooking for another 15 minutes in the car and I had it cooking on the floor on the passenger side in the front and when I lifted it up to take it out of the car, um, I guess I did not lift it absolutely uh, even because a whole bunch of boiling hot liquid uh, came out. Uh, it spilled out of the side of it. So I had to clean all of that up and uh, thankfully I didn't burn myself with that. So you have to be really, really careful when lifting this up or moving it. Let's open this up. We should expect a lot of steam, I would think. Yeah, so much steam. Okay, let's see about taking the fish out. Here's what's going on on the bottom of this little oven. There's quite a bit of liquid on the bottom and you can see there's been some discoloration. I'm hoping that cleans out. Let's open up this fish. Piping, piping hot, yeah. Yeah. That looks really good. And now it all looks like it's done. Yeah, that looks really good. When it comes to fish, I'd rather overcook the fish than undercook the fish. Um, in case you're not aware, a lot of fish uh, has worms and uh, the last batch of fish that I got had worms in it and it just it totally uh, skeeved me out kind of freaked me out um, I've never seen worms in fish before um, they were in the raw fish and then uh, a piece that I thought had no worms even after it was cooked um, I found worms in it the worms were dead because they had been cooked but I just I didn't want to eat it I didn't want to chance it so um, that is why I would rather overcook fish than undercook fish. There's quite a few species of fish that are known uh, to have worms and I found out that uh, fishmongers normally just pull the worms out uh, before they sell the fish uh, if they find worms in the fish and if you hold the fillets up to a light uh, that's usually how you can locate them. So if anyone's thinking this fish is overcooked uh, I'd rather it be overcooked than undercooked. And so this is how you can cook fresh fish in a Rode Pro 12 volt portable stove. After I filmed the Rode Pro unboxing and review video, I remembered that I had this in my car. This is a battery extender. It says powered by Schumacher 1200 amps. And I keep this in my car because this does all kinds of great things. It will jump a dead battery. Uh, this holds 200 watts of power um, with a peak power usage of 400 watts. It inflates tires. It has emergency lights on it. It has four USB ports. It has a 12 volt port. It has a regular a wall outlet. So I've used this to jump dead batteries. I use this to check my tire pressure and to refill flat tires. Um, and I use this to charge up devices when I need to. And it's, it's a really great unit, but I remembered that it has a 12 volt outlet. So what I did later was I brought this inside and I hooked up the Rode Pro to this outlet and it worked fine. So I'm assuming this is a 12 volt, 12 amp outlet. It doesn't say anything here on the unit itself and I can't find my user manual and the information I found online does not say how many amps this is, but this does work with the Rode Pro. So I can use the Rode Pro with this until I find a solar power station 
that has 12 volts, 12 amps. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.